guys um, have meals to go now at the gym? All gyms or? No, uh, we're just starting at Madison. Uh, just kind of getting the kinks worked out, logistics figured out. We just started about two weeks ago. And uh, once we get that figured out, hopefully we'll get them at all of them. But I didn't have time to get one there, so I just walked over to the Fit Chef today to get a little lunch. I noticed uh, Burgers and Blues added some veggies to their B3 bowls too. Yeah, they got a, uh, so right now we got four options. It's uh, you need to get chicken or you can get turkey. And then you can, one of them has broccoli, sweet potatoes. One has broccoli, sweet potatoes, and onions. And then you can pick your sauce too. It's good. I've eaten a bunch of them already. Yeah, it, it uh, probably helped keep you on track with your beach body challenge, huh? Yeah, I got a perfect score this time. I was pumped about it. I uh, I just wanted to dedicate uh, six weeks and do everything perfectly for six weeks, just see what happens. It's obviously, it's definitely not sustainable. Yeah. You know, after about four weeks, I'm like watching TV and they're having commercials for a chacaroni, and I just yeah. don't want it so bad. But. Got some meatballs. Yeah, I got this. Is uh, they didn't have a lot uh, left. I usually get chicken. Uh, but they didn't have, so I got the turkey meatball marinara. Notice those are turkey meatballs. Yeah. Um, I would love to have a quick conversation about how there. I feel like there's there's extremes out there where people will say all these uh, food testings are silly, waste of time, and at the other end of the spectrum, some people will take like their body type, endomorph, exomorph, whatever, and they will think that they, there's a simple silver bullet mm -hmm. for them to lose weight. I feel like there's middle ground because like you're eating turkey meatballs right now and you're doing that probably for a pretty specific reason because I know you, I know you've done some of those food tests before and red meats and steaks like that don't really agree with you, right? The people that say the food sensitivity tests don't work, like anytime anybody talks in absolutes, like, Red always flag. be skeptical red flag yeah but it changed my life you know I um, I tell people this all the time I used to get sick like clockwork every year for a week in the fall and the week in the spring when the weather changed like clockwork for my whole life I get nosebleeds I get sick for a week feel ter terrible and um, I got to when I was this is back when I was training the, the main reason I did it was because I was training more than ever, my performance was getting worse, and so I was trying to figure out what was going on. So I went to see uh, Jackie Williams at Innovative Health, and um, she did all my blood work, and my cortisol levels were messed up, my, test my testosterone was low, and I was eating you know, super healthy. Yeah. And so she, uh, she had me do a food sensitivity test, and a lot of the stuff I was eating every day, I, did, I was not digesting well. and. Um, yeah, looking back on it, like I would show up to the gym every day with a runny nose, every single day, year round. I'd be stopped up and I was having eggs in my shake every single morning and eggs was like my highest reactivity. So eggs and then beef, which I, I was eating a lot of beef as well. Um, avocado, which is healthy. Yeah. But um, so anyways, so I, all the stuff that I tested high on, I cut it out. I started working on fixing my gut because I that's what ultimately is the cause is your gut lining is eroded and um, stuff starts leaking through out of your stomach and that's what causes inflammation all that type of stuff and so I started doing that started taking like colostrum probiotics stuff like that to uh, fix my gut and I went back like a couple months later and my numbers were way better for my blood work and I, I don't hardly ever get sick anymore like like I said it was two two times a year like clockwork and I think that was probably four or five years ago. I think maybe I've been sick once or twice, like bad since then, other than COVID. Yeah, which and, you took COVID like a champ too, man. <laughs> I mean, it was tough, but yeah. I mean, I survived. <laughs> I didn't have to go to the hospital or anything. For real. But, uh, man, it was, it's been life changing for me. So when people say that, I'm like, well, in my experience, it literally changed my life. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell everybody about it. And I know Caleb had a similar experience with his migraines. And it's, it's crazy. If he has black pepper, he gets a migraine every Whoa. single time. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure, like, the food sensitivity test it, it isn't cheap, but, oh my no. gosh, the, but knowing, having that info... It was, like, it was like 500 bucks. Yeah. But to me, it was like an investment in my health for the rest of my life. So now I know 
And I'll, have, I'll still have a steak every now and then, but I know my stomach's gonna be messed up. It's gonna mess my sleep up. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But I'm willing to, like on my birthday, I'll have a ribeye. Um, I'm willing to, to, to do that. Um, so, like I know if I'm gonna eat a burger, I need to have some Tums afterwards because I'm not gonna digest it very well. And I don't really have eggs anymore. But if I do have eggs, I have more, I have actually have a mild allergy to eggs. So I'll have like the back of my throat will start tingling and tighten up a little bit. So what is a typical breakfast for you now? Is it pretty similar? Or? Yeah, like with the beach body, I was eating the same thing every day. I was eating, so I was doing 2,900 calories, uh, 225 protein. My carbs were 250 to 300. Typically my fat was 75 to 95. You know, I would kind of fluctuate those two a little bit, but I was really consistent with the protein and the calories. And then I would just kind of pin on the day on the fat carbs, but it was always within that 10, you get like a 10% buffer on the beach body. Um, so I was, breakfast was um, two scoops of a scent protein, uh, just with water, mm -hmm. one serving of cashews, um, and then um, a piece of fruit. So either Dang, an apple yeah. or um, peach. And then another thing, banana was on my test. And I thought, I'm, I'm gonna start trying to add it back. And I added banana back a couple times. My stomach was getting messed up. So I cut it out and, and it quit being messed up again. It's crazy. Just put banana, one banana. Um, so yeah, that, that's breakfast every day. And then um, I've been working out around lunchtime. So um, lunchtime workout and then post-workout would be two more scoops of ascent protein um, with water. And then a couple hours after that, which is what I'm eating now, it would be a lunch either, I was doing the V3 bowls mm -hmm. uh, from B&B &B that we sell, or I was doing a Fit Chef meal, or uh, leftovers from what we had for dinner the night before, Smart. which would be rice and chicken typically. Yeah. And then dinner would be rice and chicken. Snacks would be usually some more cashews, uh, some fruit. Uh, I was eating a lot of hummus. Uh, some sometimes some, I was eating some pretzels. That was kind of that would be like my my cheap buffalo pretzels. Yeah, like, you get like a ten percent buffer window, so that's what I. And it's not even really that bad. Well, were know? they the Snyder ones? No. The Snyder uh, makes some good pretzels. It's the ones they sell at Kroger <laughs> that are different flavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I get. Are they Snyder? Uh, they probably are. They got like honey mustard, buffalo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. The, the buffalo ones. Um, <laughs> So that's what uh, that's what I Man, eat pretty much every day. That's so helpful for me to hear too, because sometimes I'll complicate things that don't need to be complicated. Like I'll think, man, I just won't eat breakfast because I have to cook it, or you know, I got to do eggs so and oatmeal. But you're just doing protein shakes. Before the the beach body, I wasn't eating breakfast, yeah. and I wouldn't really get that hungry. And when I started eating breakfast, I would be hungry by lunchtime again. And I'd have I was getting really tired in the afternoon, um, and so I started eating bre uh, breakfast, and that kind of knock that out I've, I've had more energy throughout the day so so are you still doing that for for the mornings even after mm -hmm. the beach body challenge yeah, yeah i'll keep and it's easy i just like I'm, I'm not hungry in the morning and i did shakes for a long time because that way i can drink it but yeah it's just really easy i just get a handful of cashews i grab an apple um and then i have my protein at the gym so when i get to the gym i just do two scoops and uh and that's easy um easy breakfast and it's light but it's enough to keep me mm -hmm give me energy till, sure. till lunchtime. So that was, I was doing that every day. I was getting 100 ounce water every day, um, which is five shaker bottles filled. And I would do 20, I do 20 ounces. And I've been doing that for years, 20 ounces yep. right when I wake up yep. before coffee. Um, and then um, drinking the water in bed eight and a half hours a night. Just try to get eight hours of sleep and then um, work out every day, six days a week in class. I just did the class workout, nothing extra. Mm -hmm. um, and then on Sundays, I would, I was cutting the grass pretty much every Sunday. We're taking the dogs for a walk, just yep. something, something active. And how much weight did you lose again, just in this past six weeks? 24 pounds. That's wild, man. 15, 15.1 pounds of fat, and I put on almost two pounds of muscle. And then the workout is going to be 10, 20, 30. Okay, so ascending reps on the uh, the workout today. It's going to be alternating dumbbell snatches and then either bike or row calories. Okay, fitness and performance you can choose. Competition is going to be the bike. 
And then the difference in the tracks is just going to be the weight on the dumbbell. 35-20 fitness, 50-35 performance, and 70-50 uh, competition, and we do have a couple new 70s over there if you want to break those in. Okay, give those a shot.